Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to talk to you about managing your uh, URLs, your domain name, basically. And to start us off, I'm going to do a, uh, a Bing search here for Yarn, Yarn Band, and a uh, really good band out of uh, Brooklyn. And obviously if I just searched for the word yarn we would get probably everything related to arts and crafts but if you put in yarn band they actually have pretty good rankings here and of course their main website which is what I want to check out in just a second is the focus of this topic uh, yarnmusic.net but I want to draw your attention to this right down here too yarnmusic.bombplates.com this is gonna come back to haunt this band just a little bit and then of course they have a lot of um, folder content basically on some music sharing sites you know an old my my space account is still ranking well uh, reverb nation things like that but I'm gonna head over to their official site and community uh, before I click on this by the way look at their description this is the description for their main site and it's not a very good one and it's not their official meta description which they kind of you know they dropped the ball on that and this I guess was text that was on the page that was just pulled out and being used as the description so once again use those meta descriptions and make them good because the search engines will use that and if you don't have those meta descriptions they will just grab whatever text is out there even if it uh, is not very helpful so I'm gonna go ahead and click on their official site and for the most part a pretty good looking site they are having an issue with their navigation menu here it looks like their the width of their navigation menu items is too wide to fit in the allocated space so contact which I'm sure is supposed to be over here on the right side has been wrapped around so that's clearly a problem but yarnmusic.net this is the band now what I want you to do is I want you to keep an eye on the URL the web address as I go to click on one of their menu items something like tour so I'm now on the tour page but notice it still is yarnmusic.net if I click on the merch page merchandise or bio it's still yarnmusic.net interesting so what will happen here and in fact we can uh, right click view page source and you are seeing something which hasn't really been done in years and years and years this is a framed website and there's if you've been making web pages for a long time especially if you were making web pages in the mid and late 90s then you probably have a vague recall of what framed websites are but they've kind of gone the way of the dodo bird uh, yarn is keeping it alive apparently now they're not using a framed site in a traditional sense though basically they're using it for their domain name so the band acquired this domain name yarnmusic.net and at their domain registrar and we don't know who's where they're you know it could be like GoDaddy or something like that but basically they've rigged it so that if anybody types in yarnmusic.net it actually forwards over to this website yarnmusic.bombplates.com but they didn't want that web address to show up they wanted their yarnmusic.net to show up so we have a 100 percent frame so even though it seems like you're looking at yarnmusic.net you're really looking at yarnmusic.bombplates.com and if I uh, click on that that's their source code for yarnmusic.bombplates.com but I'd like to draw your attention to notice the uh, meta description is very brief yarn music it's so brief that search engines aren't going to use it okay so this description is not developed enough for a search engine to rely on it they're using keywords which of course are not that helpful and of course bomb plates is getting plenty of recognition here but not yarn music so that's what's going on here and here's one way we can really see it if I right click on one of their hyperlinks and I choose open link a new tab now we can really start to see this is yarn music dot bomb plates dot com slash p slash tour so they're using basically a web service uh, a service uh, bomb plates dot com helps bands makes make websites and they're page templates and content management system and stuff like that nothing wrong with it but they're not fulfilling all of the obligations of having a good website on their main website their URLs are just not matching and this is this is a problem because your URLs are a great place to kind of record 
keywords, to store keywords for searches. Also, what if you just wanted to link to Yarn's uh, tour page, you know? You click on their tour page, you give somebody the link for yarnmusic.net, and basically it's just their home page. It doesn't have to be that way. You can actually have your path, your, your keywords as part of the URL path. Uh, I'll give you another example here. I'll, I did a search for Dead Winter Carpenters, a uh, really good band out of uh, California. And look at Dead Winter Carpenters results. Now they don't have the same kind of competition with the word yarn, but obviously if I type in the word carpenters we get something different. But Dead Winter Carpenters is getting seven results right up here. They've got their main site, Dead Winter Carpenters, and of course they even have some uh, um, some subpage URLs, so they've got quite a bit of traffic here. I'm going to go ahead and click on their site so we can kind of see the difference in the web addresses. Uh, once again, another band site. I'm not really critiquing them on their overall design, but it is what it is. But check out their URL, especially check out their URL when I go to click on something like on tour. A little slow. There we go. Notice the web address is still Dead Winter Carpenters on tour. Merchandise. They have their products page. I think these could be cleaned up a little bit. Instead of on tour, I think you just could put tour or products, you know, products or merchandise. Um, they have some links and their about page. But I do like the way they've structured their web addresses. They've always got their, their main domain and then they've got the folder in question. So if you wanted to link to just the about page, you can do so. And by the way, having all of these direct links or paths to the pages within your site builds your authority and it makes it easier to get results like this in Google or Bing. This would be ideal because now if you type in Dead Winter Carpenters you're getting a focus on their website and they could do better in their descriptions too by the way. There, I mean there's a lot of things that can be improved upon on both sites um, but the descriptions for these are could certainly be improved but they still they are taking control of the search engine result page the SERP whereas yarn band they're kind of got a hodgepodge of things we have their official site but then we have this and a person would click on it and they would see what looks like the official site but it's kind of vague We're kind of dividing traffic here a little bit and then of course they've got some of these older things which I'm not sure if they're still maintaining I don't know if you know if what MySpace's value is anymore but all this just for your domain names so when you're working on setting up domain names obviously you have to buy a domain name you know ten bucks a year through you know dozens of different companies can do that but it all comes down to the hosting where's your website stored and can you find a solution that allows you to have nice clean paths we should be seeing yarnmusic.net slash tour yarnmusic.net slash merchandise all keeping the focus on their one site.